Hey, if you're new here, then welcome to my channel, Flashback Videos. I really hope you like what I'm going to show you today. And of course, if you're a regular here, then a big thank you for coming back. Today's flashback movie is a biographical drama from 2011, J. Edgar, based on the career of FBI director J. Edgar Hoover and his life from the 1919 Palmer Raids onward. As usual, if you like what you see, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you could even subscribe to the channel. I mean, it doesn't cost anything, and it really helps me out. Okay, so with all that being said, let's do this. Directed by Clint Eastwood and written by Dustin Lance Black, J. Edgar was released by Imagine Entertainment in November 2011, with a running time of around two and a quarter hours. Also known just as Hoover, the movie was filmed in Virginia with a budget of around $35 million and it went on to gross to almost $85 million worldwide. As head of the FBI for nearly 50 years, J. Edgar Hoover becomes one of America's most powerful men. Serving through eight presidents and three wars, Hoover utilises methods both ruthless and heroic to keep his country safe. Among those closest to him are his protégé and constant companion, Clyde Tolson, and his loyal secretary, Helen Gandhi. I need to start by saying that this is not a documentary, or even the best ever made biography of a man. What it is, is another piece of quality filmmaking from Clint Eastwood. Born in November 1974, Hollywood megastar Leonardo DiCaprio plays the man himself, J. Edgar Hoover. Few actors in the world have had a career quite as diverse as Leo's, who went from relatively humble beginnings to the major Hollywood star he is today. When you think of the many amazing movies he's made, it's difficult to look past such greats as Inception, The Wolf of Wall Street, The Revenant and Titanic. But my personal favourite has got to be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with Brad Pitt. Leo currently lives in Los Angeles and although he has never been married, he's had a whole host of glamorous girlfriends and is currently stepping out with Hollywood rising star Camilla Marone. Armand Douglas Hammer was born in California in 1986 and plays the part of the eventual associate director, Clyde Tolson, the much-trusted protégé who develops a close personal relationship with Hoover. Army began his acting career with guest appearances in several TV shows, and his first leading role came as Billy Graham in 2008. Since then, he's gone on to star in the likes of The Social Network, as the title character in The Lone Ranger, and as Ilya Kuryakin in The Man From U.N.C.L.E. Hammer married television personality Elizabeth Chambers in 2010 and the pair had two children together before announcing their separation in 2020. In 2021, Hammer became the subject of a sexual assault investigation. Although strenuously denying the allegations, calling them an online attack, he later abandoned several future projects and was dropped by his acting agency and publicist. Hoover's loyal secretary, Helen Gandy, who rejects his awkward advances early on in the movie, was played by British actress Naomi Watts, who was born in England in 1968. Naomi actually made her movie debut in Australia in 1986, after her family moved there. She then moved to the United States, but struggled to further her career until she starred in 2001's Mulholland Drive. Since then, she's known for her work on the likes of The Ring, King Kong, Birdman, and the Divergent franchise. Having dated Australian actor Heath Ledger and then Lee Schreiber, with whom she has two sons, since 2011, Naomi has been dating fellow actor Billy Crudup, who she met on the set of Netflix drama Gypsy. Born in England in 1934, acting legend Dame Judith Olivia Dench played the part of Hoover's doting mother, Anne-Marie Hoover, with whom he lived well into adult life. Regarded as one of Britain's best actresses, with a career spanning more than six decades, Judy rose to international fame as M in the James Bond movies, but she's also starred in movies such as Shakespeare in Love, Chocolat, and Notes on a Scandal, amongst others. Judy was married to fellow actor Michael Williams from 1971 until his death from lung cancer in 2001, and they had a daughter together. Since 2010, she's been in a relationship with conservationist David Mills, who she met when he invited her to open a squirrel enclosure at the wildlife centre he runs. The part of Augustus Slim Lindbergh 
was played by American actor Joshua Lucas Easy Dent Moa, better known as just Josh Lucas, who was born in Arkansas in 1971. Lucas began his career when he was 19, having moved to Hollywood after his high school graduation, and has appeared in the likes of American Psycho, Sweet Home Alabama, The Lincoln Lawyer, and Ford vs. Ferrari. Lucas got married to freelance writer Jessica Enriquez in 2012, and they had a son together before they divorced in 2014. Born in Massachusetts in 1968, Jeffrey Donovan played the part of Attorney General Robert F. Bobby Kennedy, who was blackmailed by Hoover to protect his position and increase the Bureau's power. Donovan, who also played Bobby's brother, John F. Kennedy, in 2016's LBJ, is perhaps better known for his roles on the small screen, including CSI Miami, Spin City and Law and Order, as well as his first leading role in the American remake of the British television series Touching Evil with Vera Famiga. Donovan has been married to Michelle Woods since 2012, and they have three children together. The part of Robert Irwin, who was lectured by Hoover on the evils of communism, was played by American actor Joshua Cole Hamilton, who was born in New York in 1969. Not the most well-known actor in Hollywood, Hamilton has enjoyed supporting roles in a whole host of movies and TV shows, including Dark Skies and Alive, but his most celebrated role was as Mark Day in the hit indie movie Eighth Grade. Donovan has been married to producer and actress Lily Thorne since 2005, and they have one child. One of a number of Hoover's ghostwriters, Agent Smith, was portrayed by English actor and musician Edward Jack Peter Westwick, who was born in Hertfordshire in 1987. Best known for his role as Chuck Bass on Gossip Girl and as Vincent Swan in White Gold, Westwick made his movie debut in 2016's Children of Men. He shared an apartment with his Gossip Girl co-star Chase Crawford from the beginning of the series until 2009 and he's also dated British actress Amy Jackson. Born in Florida in 1951, American actor Stephen Rood played the part of forensic wood specialist Arva Kohler, who helped Hoover investigate the kidnapping. Known for starring as Jimmy James on the sitcom News Radio and as Milton Waddams in the movie Office Space, Root has also appeared in Barry and provided voices for King of the Hill. He was married to his first wife, Laura Hayes, between 1984 and 1997, and they have a son together. But since 2008, he's been married to actress Romy Rosemont. Australian actor Damon Herriman was born in Adelaide in 1970, and played the part of Bruno Richard Houtman, who was arrested and convicted of the kidnap and murder of Charles Lindbergh Jr. Perhaps best known for his portrayal of Dewey Crow in Justified, Perryman has played cult leader and criminal Charles Manson in both season 2 of the Netflix series Mindhunter and in the Quentin Tarantino movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. As I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, Please don't forget to smash that like button, or even subscribe to the channel, you know you want to, and remember, it's free!